Well, fall is right around the corner, and here in Connecticut, Litchfield County is usually one of the most vibrant spots to visit with foliage. We are so lucky. In fact, our Lauren Richardson took a road trip to the town of Washington to show us three ways to have a great day there. Take a look. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to show you how to have a great day in Washington. Three things to do, and I mean, what better than this beautiful garden? We are here at Hollister House Garden right now, and I'm here with Pamela and George. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, tell me a little bit about this beautiful garden. It's just gorgeous. It's an English garden, and I went to England over 40 years ago, and I came back, and I said, I'm going to make one. Of course, the trick is, that the flowers that bloom and grow in England don't necessarily prosper here. So it's been an adventure through the years to figure out what to grow, how to grow it, to get this wonderful sort of full, generous, maybe some people say overgrown style of gardening. What does it feel like when you're walking through here? Uh, to me, it feels like a very peaceful, serene place. Um, a place to come and really be enveloped by nature and by the beauty of a garden and um, to enjoy it on a very different level. All right, well, let's go take a, a quick walk to another spot and location, all right? Okay. You can show me. Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> okay, so now where are we? are we? This is a beautiful spot we're standing in right now. This is our wall garden, and as you can see, it's defined by brick wall on two sides and this large, you can't see there's a, a U hedge. The idea here is that the structure is rigid and formal, but that the plantings are natural and loose and look as if they just happened. Pamela, so if somebody wants to come here, how could, how could they, you know, do they have to book online ahead of time? No, you could just go to our website, which is hollisterhousegarden.org, and our hours are listed on it. We're open three days a week until October 7th. Um, you can come, enjoy the garden, no advance reservation. You can sit on a bench and read a book, or you can check while you're on our website to find our lecture, our schedule of lectures and workshops and special events coming up. Yeah, well, sitting on a bench reading a book, that sounds like a good idea. And I think we have the perfect place to go to next. All right, now here we are in the downtown of Washington. Actually, did you know the Gilmore Girls was inspired by this town? And this is a great bookshop to visit whenever you're here. It's the Hickory Stick Bookshop. It's so adorable. I'm here with the co-owner, Fran. Hi, Fran. Hi, Lauren. Hi. How are you? I'm so nice great. To see you. Yeah, and it is a, just a beautiful location. Uh, so tell me a little bit about this bookshop specifically. Um, obviously, you said you've owned it for 20 years. We've owned it for 20 years, but uh, the store has been here for 70 years. So uh, to a certain extent, we feel that we're the caretakers as well as the owners, and um, it's just a great place to be. It is. What can somebody find here who's walking in here? There's all different sorts of books, obviously. Uh, well, we have books, we have gifts, we have children's toys. Uh, I mean, there is a little bit of something for everyone. You have hickory sticks. And we have hickory sticks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the staff does a great job of changing the displays and uh, showing the personality of the store, I think. Which is great. All right, so since this is my first time here, what's a good spot to eat around here? Oh, GW Tavern up the road. Oh. Uh, you're, I mean, it's a old-fashioned colonial tavern, but you can choose to eat outside, inside, waterfall outside, uh, okay. scenic, and good food. I'm going to go check that out for myself. All right, thanks so much, Fran. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> All right, so our final stop on the tour of Washington. And yeah, you want to just kick up your feet right back and relax after a long day maybe of doing some searching. Well, here I am at the GW Tavern, and I'm with Sean. Hi, Sean. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Uh, the GW Tavern, I mean, this is a great spot to eat and drink, right? Absolutely. Tell we've me been about here, it. Well, we've been here about 25 years, and uh, we focus mostly on New England tavern food. We have a lovely fireplace over here in the winter, and we have great relationships with some local farms. You mentioned the building is from the 1800s, right? Correct, 1850. And uh, it definitely has all of the charm as you look around and behind us, the ceilings, everywhere else. We do focus on local distillers. Litchfield is one that we use a lot. We use uh, local breweries. We have actually uh, behind us on the handles uh, our own lager from Woodbury. Uh, Woodbury Brewing. We have other local breweries we work with as well. Um, so lots and lots of local. 
That's awesome. And you've got a beautiful patio. We do. Yeah, we let's do. go, let's go outside and check it out. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, what a gorgeous view we have outside the tavern. Uh, tell me a little bit about this, Sean. Well, this is my favorite table overlooking the Chabog <laughs> River, actually. Um, this is our patio space where we do private events. Uh, we had to stop them during COVID, but we're bringing them back next year. We're pretty excited about it. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're planting an herb garden uh, just over the fence here, actually, for next season. So we'll have our own herbs growing in the stone wall here. All right, well, Sean, I got to tell you, I had the best day in Washington today. It was so much fun. So I'm going to see you all next time when I go to visit another town. Bye. Thanks, Lauren. Just gorgeous. All right, that was the Hollister House Garden, the Hickory Stick Bookshop, and the GW Tavern. Yeah, three things that three, are great. And I've been to the GW Tavern. It's it looks awesome. incredible. Oh it's my really gosh. incredible. For more information on all three spots, head to WFSB.com and click on the Great Day tab.